Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I'm going to share with you the swaps I received when I went to the Stamping Up On Stage Live convention in Dortmund, Germany last weekend, last week. Um, went over on Wednesday, came back on Sunday. One of the highlights of the convention is that we get given a copy of the Spring Summer Catalogue. Unfortunately that's all I can show you. Um, it's fantastic cover there. As you can see, we do have some poppies, two stamp sets in there for the poppy set, um, which is fabulous. Um, another one to watch out for is the Parisian Blossoms. That's another fabulous set as well. The other thing that we get given is the Celebration catalogue. And if you don't know Celebration, this runs from 3rd of January to 31st of March 2020. And for every 20, sorry, every 30 Oh dear, start again. For every £45 or €60 Euros you spend in the catalogues, either spring, summer or the um, annual catalogue, you can choose a, a gift from the catalogue. So that's always an excellent time of the year to do your shopping. Um, right, I am going to start with the greeting cards first, or the card fronts. Then I'll go on to the 3D. Um, there are a lot of names here that I can't pronounce properly because we had um, people from Austria, Germany, France and the Netherlands um, at the convention. So what I'm going to do, I'll do my best to pronounce a name. I'm not going to try and spell out the websites. This is my second take on this and it was taking me so long um, keep having to spell them all out. So what I'm going to say is if you want to be able to contact any of these people if you um, make a note of what time it's showing on the video, contact me and I will go back and sort out the details, the website or whatever I can for the person who created whatever it is that you've taken a fancy to. All right, so let's get started. This one, um, it's not my style at all, but I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, I have no idea how who is this? Christiane Vecilia. I don't know how she's done that, but it is really beautiful, really lovely. That's obviously been masked off, but I don't know the painting, how she has done that. That is really lovely. So thank you for that, Christiane. This one's the Unicorn, uh, which has been done in rainbow colours. I'm not sure how she's done that, but I imagine she's painted using marker pens. Um, and then you huff on the stamp before you actually stamp to get it like that. Um, I imagine that's what she's done. And that was... Does she say on here how she did it? Oh, she might have done it using sponge daubers, using ink that way. Um, so that was made by Maureen, known as Mo Roots. So many thanks for that, Mo. This one is using Mosaic Mood Designer Series paper and I can't think what we call that apart from the fact it's a fancy fold so that's a very attractive card and that was made by Sandrine Dufault from France thank you now this one is one of these cards where somebody has made an awful lot of put an awful lot of work into this the pretty peacock at the back there has been embossed with the scripty embossing folder. The gold foil I think has been embossed with the tin foil embossing folder. And then this has been stamped with at least three, four stamps I can see. And the edge has been sponged. And then die cuts, I think that's fussy cutting. Just so much work into it, it's really beautiful. Really, really lovely. And that was made by, well up here it says, Elo Scrap Etoile. I hope that's uh, pronounced okay. Oh, another one with Mosaic Mood. Thank you card. That's really nice. I always stop when I'm looking at something and I think, well I wouldn't have done that. But that's really reflective. Reflect effective. What what's making me hesitate is I wouldn't put three different designers here at four. 
different designer series paper together but that is beautiful really lovely and that's been made by Tamara Davis from the US so thank you for that Tamara that's really good thank you and there's this one with the cat and this was made by Patricia Humbert who's from France I love cats that's really good she's I've done cards where you've got a square here and it covers up the square there but I've never tried doing it with such a fancy shape there so you've done really well there Patricia thank you this one's stunning I've had received one something like this once before from somebody but I don't recognize the lady's name um, her name is Domenica Schnabel um, so whether it's just I've forgotten the name or it's a different lady I don't know but this is really beautiful really lovely thank you another nice card I like this one uh, using the stitched stars dies and you open that up and it's actually been cut out from the front there that's really lovely this has been made by Sabine Lemasha I think lovely card really like that oh, another nice card here this one there's a lot of work gone into it obviously from the front here um, but it was a nice surprise when I opened it because you open that up and you've got these two bits here which have been cut off from the side there isn't that a lovely idea really like that beautiful and that was made by Barbara Gibbons who's in Germany oh and an envelope to go with that one as well so thank you for that and this I think has probably been an amazingly popular stamp set this year made, made by Kirsten Mayle, that's M-E-Y-L so thank you for that Kirsten, that's lovely I like this one as well, I love the com uh, colour combination I would never have chosen black for a Christmas card but this works so well, really really well um, these are heat embossed and then with the gold here and silver which is good because, oh and the copper Oh, she used all three inks so that it picks up the silver in there as well and the silver on the breads too that's lovely I went inside the card <coughs> excuse me and this was made by the purple rose stamper whose name is Diane I can't see anything tell me where she comes from so thank you for that Diane that's lovely Oh, this is from Liz Yule, um, UK demonstrator. This is really my kind of card because it is reasonably plain, which I think makes a card stunning. That's really lovely. This has been heat embossed with gold, uh, copper embossing powder, and this is copper foil. And this is my favourite um, embossing folder too. That's Subtles. So, yep, that's Liz Yule. Thank you for that, Liz. Now, this one's used more than one stamp set, but I don't know what the others are. I only know that that one is Beauty Abounds. That, I believe, is one of our um, stencils. Um, but I imagine this is going to be an American, is it? Elizabeth Bennett. I don't know. Um, because in the UK we don't normally do like harvest, Thanksgiving type cards so it could be UK I don't know if I don't know you Elizabeth and you're UK I should get to know you sorry about that right Germany now this is very much like my swap in as much as um, got the plaid behind a die cut um, this one's a tree I did the um, leaping dash, dashing deer and this was made by Johanna Matuszek. Oh, that looks like German, um, Japan, J-A. 
Oh, but that's German. Hmm, confused. But it's beautiful. Again, a fairly plain card. This one I didn't appreciate until I actually opened it up and took it out of the bag and then found it was a 3D card, so it stands up like that. If any of the things I'm showing you look a bit crumpled around the edges, me getting them home from Germany. But that's really nice, look at that. I think this may be the um, glitter white embossing powder that we have. I've bought some last order but I haven't used it yet. And this was made by um, it's a bit dark to see. I'm going to spell this because I'm not quite sure. Verena and I think that's Ah, I'm going to bring it up to show you so that you can see. Oh, it's a bit easier to see now, except I'm too far away from it. But thank you for that, that's lovely. Really like that. This is super too, look. This is absolutely gorgeous. Took me ages to play with it for the first time, but once I started playing with it, I didn't want to stop. And that's been made by Heather Thomas known as the Songbird Stamper. That's a nice name. And this one I thought was clever as well. It's a slightly different idea. I haven't seen it before. Uh, who made it? Corolla Stumple. And what she's done is it's got the band that goes across there, but she's just like cut a shape out so it fits around there. I can't imagine quite how she actually did that. Unless she stamped it on top first, I suppose. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure how she would know where to cut. That's a lovely idea. And this one, this is gorgeous, I love this. Um, that's copper foil, and then behind it, there's soft suede, um, solid pine cones with the copper on top. And this was made by Celine Pluchard. Oh, that's lovely, thank you. Celine. And this was a stamp set I didn't get. I thought about it and thought about it and didn't in the end. It's probably too late now. Um, but this, okay, it's quite a plain card. Again, my style. Really lovely. I like it. Really nice. And this is made by Joyce Stampin. Looks like her name is M. Joyner. But her, she calls her, her business Joyce Stamping, and she's from Germany. That's really nice, I like that. Oh, and here we go, here's this uh, stamp set again. Ah, that's right, I remember. This moves. So you've got that like, oh. Oh, yeah, that is there. Um, so it's like that, it says no peeking. If you do peek, it says you peeked. <laughs> so that's a nice bit of fun, isn't it? I like that idea. And that was made by, oh no, oh here we go, um, if Crafty dies watching it she'll probably sit in there shouting at me, lift up the paper. So it's by Crafty Die, her business is known as Crafty Die Crafts, so that's really good. I remember talking to this lady when she'd explained about that. And this was made by, without looking, Helen, um, a lady from the UK that I've known for quite some time. And um, she would spend the whole three days making sure that I wasn't left on my own because none of my team were with me. Um, I was very fortunate. There was Helen with the, her lady, Julie, um, and there was another group that invited me to join them and of course by the time I get into this huge hall where there's like a thousand demonstrators in there um, it was a question of who I could see first. Um, I went over to where I knew that Helen would be sitting, didn't see her so I moved back and started looking around for the second lot of people but 
that's standing up for you. People are so nice like that. They won't let you um, just be on your own. So many thanks for that. I know it's Helen's because I got her to write on the back there. She gave me this and I'd already finished swapping. So I said to her that I would send her my original card my, that I took my swap from which is this one. I shared, th shared this on my blog, but this is like the one before where the lady did the Christmas tree. I did the dashing deer. So I said that I would send the actual card to um, Helen. So I got her address on the back there. So I'll put that on one side actually so I don't forget now. I like the colouring on this and it's also got some Wink of Stella in it. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not because although Wink of Stella shows up beautifully in real life, it's very difficult to photograph and very difficult to get on the screen. But really like that, that's nice. Oh, Emma Ryder. Oh, she was one of the girls who was really making sure that I wasn't on my own as well. So if it wasn't with Helen, it was with Emma and she had a crowd with her. So I was never left on my own, which was really lovely. This is nice as well like this. Can't think of the stamp set. Ah, by Furry Cat Designs. Karen. Oh, Karen K Henderson. Oh, right, okay. Um, this is all part of uh, the group. Um, that's really nice, Furry Cat Designs. Let's just say the stamp sets. Enjoy life stamps. Sponge Brayer. Oh, yeah. Army Blue and Pepper Says. That's really lovely. Thanks for that, Karen. Oh, this one, I put that on the back of it so that I know that this card came with that. Um, and this was made by Angelique Nedapel. And I was talking to her and she said, you'll really love that. And... Um, I said, I bet I can't eat it because it's probably not gluten-free, is it? And, of course, that started us chatting about things like that. And, um, unfortunately, I made her feel bad. And if you're watching this, Angelique, I really do apologise about that. Um, I certainly don't expect people to stop and think about, you know, whether something's gluten-free. But it's not a waste because my husband will love eating this. What has to happen now that I've been diagnosed as celiac is I have to... Things uh, I can see that that's not see uh, that's not gluten free, so he will get that. That'll go on his pile. Anything that's gluten free comes on my pile. Now, if my pile will finish up bigger than that one, I keep it <laughs> because if his finished up bigger than mine, he wouldn't be able to give it to me, would I? Would he? So that looks really absolutely delicious. Well, that's for him. So there we go. Beautiful card again. Uh, that's not the same stamp set, is it? That's another stamp set. That's another one that's been very popular. Really nice. Love it. So many thanks for that, Angelique, and also for the... Um, on behalf of my husband, thank you very much for the um, biscuit. And on the back of this one, I put these two because these were inside the packet. Um, we don't know whether these are gluten-free, so hubby will um, Google it for me. That's how we find out all these. Chances are these are okay for me. It says contains milk, so it probably means it's gluten free. So that's for me. Good, thank you. This is a nice card. This is combined punches. Oh, that's a punch as well, I think, isn't it? And dies. There's a lot here. That's that same stencil that was used in the other card. I don't have the stencils. And this was made by Jerry. Green stock from Shivanga, Shivaninga, Shivaninga, Netherlands. So many thanks for that, and thanks for the, the sweeties too. I'm going to put those back on there so that I know. That's it. Oh, this one's from Julie. I was telling you about um, Helen, who made sure that I was looked after. And she had her lady, Julie, with her. And um, Julie had forgotten to put any details on the back here. So she was sitting um, by the side 
and she was writing all these strips out, cutting them out and putting them on there. So that's Julie. It was lovely meeting you, Julie. Hope to meet you again sometime and many thanks for your swap. This is nice, so I like this. Oh, decorated inside, always nice. And this was made by Julianne Utler from Germany, I believe. Is this Germany? I don't know, I can't tell. Julianne. I think the, that indicates it's Germany. I hope so. Otherwise I'm really letting myself down about my geography. Oh, here's a masculine card. Haven't seen many of these. But that's good. like that. That's Amanda Campbell from the UK. Many thanks for that, Amanda. Oh, I don't have this. I was very tempted to get it, but I didn't. You make me smile. That's nice. And this was made by... Bear with me, please. Um, Janek Dijkstra de Jong. I hope that's said somewhere near close. The website for this one is happystampin.nl. Happy uh, stampin being without the G. This one is. Um, lady was talking to me about this one, and it's like a bit of um, magic, as in you open the card up. So you've got this bit on this side, but if you open it that side, it's moved over to this side. And this, oh, it's not going to happen. Would it happen on there? Can you do it there? Yes, you can. Clever, isn't it? So that just goes like that. So like that. Brilliant, isn't it? So easy. Um, let me see. There wasn't a name on there, was there? Yes. Jill Sassy. It's Netherlands. Let's see if there's another name on here. Probably not for her to have written it there. Oh, she even given the instructions. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Let's put it onto that one, I think. Is that right? Yep, that's fine. So there we go. That's a good one. Now this one, I'm not sure who made this. I did finish up with a um, business card, but nothing that's attached to it. So whether it's this one or not, I don't know. Um, French. I can't tell by the telephone number. Um, but this is very much like the um, Z card, double Z card when it came out, which has now got loads and loads of different variations on it. It's really great. So I don't know if that is, does belong to that one or not. Um, and I've just seen this. This is another cute one as well. And I think this belongs to it. Yes, I'm sure it does. Um, right, this is a great idea. I like this. It'd be good to see that on a big version, wouldn't it? So this is Katrin Brachman, which is Team Stemple Derns. Nothing on there, but I've got an idea. That might have been wrapped around there. Now, that looks about right for three times around, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to say that that is there because it all blends in beautifully. Okay, so there's that one. This one. This was from Barbara Maynard. I knew Barbara from Facebook, but it was so nice to have a chance to meet her and um, have a chat with her. Daisy Lane, medium Daisy. Best moments. Good morning, Magnolia. Thanks. Medium Daisy Punch. Coastal Cabana Blushing 
McBride. That's very nice, thank you. Barbara, this one's a little bit unusual. It's, I have done a video showing how this is made. Okay, so that pops out like that and then it stands on the shelf like that. Okay, so that's the view that you get when you're looking at it. That's a great card, that is. Um, the last card that I have here is this one. And this was made by Laura, I believe. No, Debbie. I knew it was somebody that I was talking to. Um, so, so Debbie was in the group with Emma Ryder. And she's done a... Um, Halloween card. So that's a nice idea. So many thanks for your swap, Debbie. I like this ribbon actually. I missed it. And there's no point really get me getting it now. Really lovely, I like that. Right, so let me move these out of the way. Um I did that one, didn't I? I did that. Did all of those and that. Right, that's just gone onto the lid of my box. Now I'm going to start with the 3D. Um, I don't have much of an order here at all. Um, so first of all, I have four of these, and a lot of these I haven't opened. Um, in case I couldn't get it back together again, some of the things are actually sealed. Um, and I decided I would just leave it until I do my video so I can show you if I spoil it then at least you've seen the full beauty of it this is the small curvy keepsake box that we have now and this just has a ribbon on here to keep it keep the uh, tag on it but I have to take it off to find out who actually I swapped with okay Oh, I wonder if I'm allowed that. Goody. Let's pop that over there. These little boxes are absolutely brilliant. I used the bigger one that we used to have and made my table favours for my wedding earlier this year. They're great. But this is even better because it's in one piece. With the bigger one we had to use two pieces. So let me just... Wrap that round. I'll just tie it for a knot for the time being. And then I'll tidy them all up afterwards. Here's another one. Um, I think this is from the 6x6 paper stack, I think. Oh, good. That's not a knot. And inside, there... Oh, there wasn't anybody's name in there, was there? shame. Let's see if we've got a name inside this one. Oh my goodness. That looks like a meringue. That should be right. But again, no name. Oh, yes, there is. Here we go. Lawrence Disnors. No idea where Lawrence is from. So I'm going to leave that one there. Because it's got something in it. Sort that one out later. Here's one that's been made with um, vellum and this has all been white embossed on it. That is absolutely gorgeous. No name on there. This is nice. The ribbon is two different um, ribbons at the same time. It's a woven like um, what I would say is linen thread and then white Baker's twine. I hope that's not knotted. Loosely. I think I should be able to get that undone.
I really do not like just cutting these things. After somebody has gone to the trouble of making them. There we go. It's not lovely. No, nope, no mane. Oh, that's such a shame. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. That can go back inside there. So that's three of those. Here's another one. Now, as you know, I try and take everything out of cellophane bags because the rustling on a video, personally, I find really irritating. But I wanted to leave this one because it was done up in a box, uh, in a big bag like that, so it had a big bag up here. But I just cut that off to take this get rid of it um but this was what was tied around the top to keep it all closed in and i've just hooked it around the handle there oh dear don't tell me i can't oh yes again there we go so this was made by let's get rid of that bit oh stephanie heidenreich this is beautiful. Uh, this one is has been made in Whisper White, but it's been stamped on two sides. Oh, don't need to undo that one. Have a beautiful day. Oh, that's nice. Can you see that? Yeah. So that's lovely. So I'm going to keep that with that, that with that. Brutal body tub. That's probably the most atrocious pronunciation you've ever heard in your life. I know in German, gluten is, well, we would pronounce it as Weizen, Weizen free. I can't see what that says. But they can all be checked. So thank you very much for that, Stephanie. Now this year, I only received two calendars, which is unusual because calendars are normally a very popular project. Okay, so I've got that one. Which is lovely, I like that. Made by Donna Brown, which I believe she's um, UK. Many thanks for that, that's lovely. And this one, which has a post-it notepad in it, I have made a video showing how you can make this. Um, but this person's gone the extra mile and actually covered the post-it notepad. Nice touch, isn't it? And this was made by... I don't know her actual name, but it, she goes by the name of Trisha's Cards and Crafts at yahoo.com that's really very nice thank you um two badges there was this one made with the lighthouse stamp set that's not actually a badge it's just a i wonder if that that's no, not magnet and this was made by Nicole's Creative Welt. Let's see if I can see. Oh, Nicole Lemkins. So many thanks for that, Nicole. And this one is by Sonia Benedetti. I've heard of Sonia Benedetti before. Maybe I've swapped with her previously. Yeah, this one is a badge make your dreams come true and she's done a rainbow stamping as well so many thanks for that Sonia I don't know how you got these in here <laughs> okay um, right I'm going to start in front of me because these are most of them are like this somehow not all the same 
So this one has a sweet inside, which is not going to come up. It's one of the is from Ferrero something or other, and this was made by Yvonne Hope H A U P T in Germany. So many thanks for that, Yvonne. Um, this one. I'm not sure quite if this box has a name. I suppose it must have. Um, inside. Oh yes, this has got the um, like jelly bears in there, and it was made by Heike Mindark. So many thanks for that, Heike. It's like a self-closing box, isn't it? Hmm. Double-ended self-closing box. Here's another one with sweeties in. This has got some Haribo in it. Again, the snowman here. And this was made by Andrea Nyberg Oka. Ella. I'll spell that out. That's, Andrea is fine, that's the first name, but the surname looks like it's N I E B E R G A L K A. I think, I hope I've got your name right, but that's very sweet. And in here we have two tea bags. Oh, yeah, two tea bags. Apple and vanilla, and I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to Google that to find out. But that's very nice, thank you. And this was made by Simone Hark. I hope that's okay. Can I get that back in? Yes, I can. Here's another little box, decorated on the outside, made by Marianne Maber, that's M-A-B-E-R, and inside here, oh, um, this is what I call shrinky dink, um, but they call it shrink plastic nowadays. Can you see that that is an angel? I'll put it back there. Oh, clever. I've had shrink plastic sitting on my desk for about three years now. Must get round to doing something with it. I say that every time. That's got a little magnet in it so it closes it nicely. It need To close this properly you need to be careful um, because there's a sponge inside and as I'm videoing I'll do it properly later. Another nice little box. Lady had red or green. Oh, chocolates, yep. That's nice. Oh, don't know the lady. That's a shame. So thank you for that. Another bowl. Oh, this one I think is soap. Yes, this one's got soap inside. Oh, and the person who made it. Oh, Gillian Whitcomb. She comes from Northern Ireland. Nice girl. Just seeing if, whether she made this herself or not. No, not by the looks of things, no. Made in Kent. So that's lovely. Thank you, Gillian. Again, a little uh, elves. Oh, now this, I don't know how they do this. Um, I know how you stamp on candles, um, but how you do it on um, the night lights, I'm not sure. I imagine that you do the tissue paper and push it on there and then just use a heat tool to get it to melt it in there. Again, something I need to try. A couple of chocolates in there as well. And this was made by Bernadette 
Katia, Wilma from Germany. So that's really lovely, thank you. I will have a go at doing that one of these days. I like the shrinky dinks, do that as well. Shrink plastic rather. Now, thank you for that. Now this one I know is sealed, so I have no idea what's inside. I didn't want to open it until you have seen what it looks like. Okay, so that's what the box is like. But it's being held down here by dimensionals. See if I can do it without breaking it. Oh, that's one. That's two. That's three. There we go. Oh, what have we here? This has been made by Bridget Burgett David in Germany. Oh, Hubby will be pleased with that one. That says Weizen Mole. So I imagine that has got, that's probably saying um, gluten. If you've put sweets in and you're not sure whether yours is gluten or not, please rest assured I won't eat anything unless um, hubby comes back and after he's Googled it and says, yes, it's okay. If you can't find it, then we take it that it's not okay and err on the side of caution. So here we have, are you going to open? Yes, you are. Oh, it's a gift card holder, look. It's got a little sweetie as well. Thanks for swapping. And this was swapped by Sonia Short. I like how lots of people have used this on stage logo. Try and remember it. And the other thing I like a lot of people do, which I keep thinking I must do that, and that is thanks for swapping. And that's off with the magnet, so that's great. That's lovely, thank you. Another little bag with a magnet. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is another one with a little logo on it as well. It's like a little badge but on a, a keyring type thingy. So that's really nice. And this was made by Carmen Hilfsheim. That's, she's from Germany. This is cute, look. That is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm afraid I've knocked this one about a bit, which is why it's falling apart slightly. That's my fault. Um, when I went to Hong Kong recently, I came back with some gifts for my customers and it was like a little, little travelling pouch thing, fabric. And inside were other little pouches. And one of them was a holder for tissues. But it was this tissue size. And we very rarely ever see these nowadays. But now I see Tempo. We get that over here. Um, so I suggested other things that um, my customers could use it for. But it's nice to see that they are still available. Victoria Barrow, Baru, that's Germany. That's really lovely, thank you. This one is my favourite designer series paper. Really love that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Ah, this one is sealed. It is all stuck down there, so I haven't opened it yet. And this is from Pamela Poli, and she's France. So now I will try and open this to see what she has popped inside. Oh. Oh. I've seen them but never tried them. Oh well. 
they've got to be googled then either I try them or have you get some that is lovely thank you here's another one oh that's clever this has been made by just making a small box on the bottom there and then taking a straight piece of designer series paper and adhering that round and then squeezing the two sides what a clever idea is that right can I open this without damaging it I should be able to I think is that a double knot? no it isn't and inside we have a Hanuta Minis, not seen that before that's really lovely look can you see the box inside just a very small one that's a great idea but no name so thank you and this one's very pretty look Sonia watched Box, Bottler, Bottler. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. And inside is a little bottle of very bright pink glitter. Sweet, isn't it? Right, here's another one. This is with the um, baubles on it. Oh, this one opens up like that that's it if that's just chocolate that's mine um and judy's grice beard and she is from france so many thanks for that judith well, that folds like that and it slides in another clever idea isn't it what i like about this kind of box is it's got folded edges all around there and as it goes in there makes it look really um, good and solid but here's another one. Oh, I wonder if that's a box inside this is made by Megan Mears oh somebody from the States is it looking by the telephone number doesn't say where she is but I suspect she's from the States you can correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this, Megan. There's some sweeties there. Just... Oh no, this is actual one piece. No, no box inside there like that other one there. It's just one piece of designer series paper. So thank you for that, Megan. And now this is the one that was made by Laura. I knew that I'd recognise it. I just picked the wrong one earlier. Um, so this is like a little door hanger, whatever. Really nice and solid. I'm not quite sure what she's used here. Maybe she's been cutting up our cardboard bits. But this is really lovely. Very, very nice. Again, a lot of people are doing this different colours. This one may be... I was going to say um, baby wipe technique, but I don't think so. Possibly sponging. Am I right? Yes, Laura. Um, you were wonderful. Made using backing from the DSP sandwich between black cardstock. Yeah, lovely. That is really good and solid, that. Thank you, Laura. This is nice as well. I was saying to the lady, this is very much like um, tea bag folding. I think last, not last year, the year before, a lady in my team, she sent out Christmas cards that had this kind of thing on it. Whether it was identical or not, I don't know, but that's really good. And this was made by, oh, Jilly Hunt. So many thanks for that, Jilly. That's lovely. Could be used as, um, to hang it on the Christmas tree. Now this one, I remember the lady giving me this because inside there's some tomato seeds. 
Okay. So I'm going to have to type that out so that I can Google the um, translation of it. But I did remember that it was tomato seeds. I've just done that like a little flower pot. Isn't that clever? So thank you for that. Was there a name there? Well, it says Rita at that at the bottom there. I wonder if that. Oh, here we go. Looks like it says Rita's Paradise. Rita H. Redek. And I'm imagine. For some reason, I thought she was Dutch, but it looks more like German. I'm no expert, though, I have to say. Oops. And there's this bag, ho, 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 and inside is this... Oh, that's right, yeah, the, it's got the a tea bag in there, look. Organic Happy Me, caffeine-free. Good, could have one of those at bedtime. And this is Paper Crafting by Vicky. So many thanks for that, Vicky. I assume Vicky's from Germany as well. The sentiment on the front there. And then this one is a lollipop. I'm not sure, can I open this? The name is on the back anyway. It's Nadia Bernard from France. Can't see what lollipop that is. I don't really want to. Do you have some scissors here? See if I can just lever it open that should be far enough oh there we go caramel oh I hope that's okay love caramel right um a few bits and pieces here. Now this one, I must admit, I talk about not paying attention. There was this bit of paper in here and I thought, what's that for? So I just took it out and then eventually realised that this is actually a bookmarker. And it's the first time I've ever seen a bookmarker where somebody has actually used a paper clip inside. I've seen paper clips used before and I've done it but I've never seen it where the whole paper clip has been covered. Great idea, really lovely and that was made by Sylvia Hassanor from Austria. So many thanks for that, it's a brilliant idea. I will leave it in there just in case I forget any time. And then there I received this one as well um, the lady had lots of different stones that you could choose from. And the lady is... Karina... at... Stempelosian. Oh, Karina Zardini, and that's Germany. So that's really lovely. Beautiful, like that. Oh, and this was a, a oh, I didn't take it out, um, like a, a wooden decoration. Okay, it um, would have been bought as a star and then it has had die cut stars on top. I think that's possibly um, Sahara sand and Knight of Navy on top. And then it's been um, painted on top with Versamark and then um, copper embossing. Really lovely. And that was by Kirsty Blowers. So many thanks for that, Kirsty. It's lovely. She goes by the name of Paper Peonies, which I thought was rather a nice name. Here's another one. I don't know why I didn't take these two out of the bags. And this was made by um, a, uh, Mike, Mikey Help. And again, bought uh, the 
bauble as a decoration and then stamped on these two and then this I believe is our gold foil that's been die cut so that could be hung on the tree as well really lovely thank you all these amazing ideas that people come up with right this one I, oh yes I did open it this is a belly band and then this opens up like this and inside there's a little sewing kit and this is made by Karen Varley and she's um, UK she goes by the name of Dunmark Paper Crafts so many thanks for that I, again this is another one that I've done a video for with mine what I did was I put another sheet on the inside I'm, I think I'm sure I did I need to check that out let's pop that on there and this was from a special friend of mine, um, Yolanda. I met Yolanda uh, in Orlando in 2015. We both went to the last leadership um, convention that they had. Um, we bumped into each other in a garden somewhere. Uh, we just came in time for our journey home. Um, we just started chatting and been friends since. And Yolanda has done really well. Um, she's quite high up on our charts and tables. Yeah, Yolanda Pastacamp. It's actually Yolanda Pastacamp de, de, de Jong. Never knew about that bit. But many thanks for this. Nice quick stick. find out what that is as well. That looks like it might be alright because the only thing that's highlighted is milk. So yeah when I bumped into Yolanda she said oh I've got something special in my bag here so she gave me one of these. Again there's a shrinky dink. There we go can you see that? That's one of the little um, coffee mugs from the stamp set okay so that's that one keep all that together now these two if you saw the photographs on my blog I showed you um, some Chris uh, a shot a photograph that I took inside a shop that had Christmas decorations handmade and I said I had two of them these were swaps I got my swaps before I'd actually seen what was in the shop but look it's this one is just a strip of cardstock with the wider bit and the tufted embossing on there to make it look a bit like tiles. It looks very dark from where I am down here. Um, but you know, that would be lovely hanging on a tree. I mean, to me, I was just absolutely bowled over with this idea, thought it was really brilliant. So that was one that I received. Oh, sorry, and this was made by Adeline Hammerwee, I think, and she's from France. As I say, if you want to know about any of these, let me know what time on the video it was and I can sort it out for you. And then there was this one, which I deliberately left together because this is how I received it. But I will just take it out now. Oh, that's a double knot. So, excuse me, I'm just going to cut the bag. That's it. So there's two gifts in here. One is this decoration. Okay, so that's just the strip round here and then with the decoration on it and from the back that has just been folded so you've got it anchored down there okay but what a brilliant idea and then inside she'd also put this like keyring fob and again shrinky dinks uh, if I can get this around the right way a 
very very generous now who made this this was made by Martina de Ram and she's Germany oh, really beautiful thank you for these now this one um, this is Yvonne Samel from Germany now I've got two of these I don't know whether those are from the same person because this doesn't have anything on it but the sweets inside are both the same if I open this one up first done like a little book I put that on there because I took it off the bag I think it was on a bag or a piece of paper or something did I? or was it another one? I don't know anyway a um, couple of sweeties in there Bambina and this was made by Yvonne Samuel, as I said, from Germany. Now, whether this is the same one or not, I would have thought so because the sweets are the same. Okay, Bambina. So maybe I swap with you twice as well. Okay, so thank you for that. Right, on this side I have some long things. So starting off with this one. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a matchbox. Now, whether... Who's... Oh, I don't know who made this. Anyway, whether they actually bought this as a box of matches, which I imagine they must have done, because that's the striking paper there. So, that's a different idea. So, thank you very much for that. Now, this is one that I think I swapped with the same person. Weiss. Yes, I did. It's Rebecca Davis. When I saw them, I just assumed that they were people who had the same idea. Um, one's a teapot and one's a cup, but obviously not. It's the same person. Um, she obviously varied her, um, the bits that she made. So many thanks for these. These are really very, very attractive. And she actually calls them plant sticks, which is a great idea. So many thanks for that. This is a bookmarker and a pencil, nice glittery pencil. And this was made by Stephanie Albrecht from Berlin. Many thanks for that. Move all that out of the way. Look at this. Just look at this. The size of that test tube. And it's full with cappuccino mix. It's a little marshmallows on the top there. And this is made by... Hmm, I don't know if that's somebody's... Oh, here we go. No, it isn't. Marina Stilper from Germany. Many thanks for that. It's really very, very generous of you. Lovely. And this, I haven't opened. Didn't want to spoil this one. Uh, doesn't have a name, it's just got stempel crease dot Germany D -E, rather. Um, but I think inside, I'm going to open it now. I don't know if the straw is glass or not. I think that is a glass straw. Well, that's one way of getting around the plastic. This is nice, isn't it? Look, they even got a little strawberry in these two here. So many thanks for that. If if I'm right by saying it's a glass straw, brilliant idea. Uh, oh, this one's all sealed up as well. So I'm going to have to force this one open. And inside. Oh my goodness, what's this? Oh goodness me, look. It's a peg doll. Wow. Can't actually see the front. We'll assume that this is the front because it's... My goodness, look at that. 
That is just so very generous, thank you. And this was Is that a talisman for you or from me? And it's www.mir-bastelen.de So it's Germany. Wow, so many thanks for that. Wasn't expecting to open the box up and find something like that. So thank you. Now this is something else that surprises me as well. I know that we can stamp on uh, candles, but I've never ever seen anybody do it on such a narrow candle. You know, normally they're like really thick, chunky candles. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you for that. And that's by Maha Helmig. So that is really lovely. Thank you for that. Um, what have we got here? This is the now five holder. I did something similar to this recently for my customers. So many thanks for that. From Els de Lang. Um, I imagine that's Holland by Prince Bernhard Strat. I don't know, could be wrong. But thank you for that. And this one. Oh, it's got a little sparkler in it. And this was by Ingrid Kemmerling. That was easy to say. So that's lovely, thank you. Very nice. And this one, again, here we got these two characters. Uh, oh, and this one, third one. Great bookmark by Katie Hawkridge from Southampton in the UK. Thank you, Katie. Um, and here, little magnet there, open up, and there's a little book, little notebook. On the front it says, each new page reveals a new wonder to be experienced. List of everything that you need. Oh, there we go. That's the person who made it. Let's close that up. Anna Bosata goes by the name of Anna's Paper Box. I can't see where she's from. There's some writing underneath there, but it's too small for me to see. But that's great. Thank you very much. And then another bookmark. This is gorgeous paper, isn't it? You know, I think I probably prefer that even more than the silver and white. And I love the silver and white. Um, they've been stamped on there. And this was made by Bettina Brookhove. Goes by the name of Betty's, probably creative of some sort, Betty's Creations, at Germany. So many thanks for that. Um couple more books. This one with a little holder in there for a business card or something. And this was made by Nicole Pernick from Germany. That's a lovely idea. Got a magnet there to close that. Another book. I can't quite work out whether this was actually bought like this or whether somebody has actually made it. Because I have had a stitched book once before, but whether it's been made or bought, it's a lovely idea. I put these in here so I didn't lose it. So this was made by Leonie Francois from Netherlands. So that's lovely. Many thanks. Sorry. Leonie, that's it. Many thanks, Leonie. Um, this one, oh, this is another one. I've, there's a video of mine that shows you how to do a box like this with four night lights in there. And again, this one, the candles have been decorated. That's a little house. That's a sentiment. 
that's a flower and flower, those two are the daisies and also decorated around the edges here as well there's a message in there which unfortunately I can't read but I think, it's, oops, it's just so clever how they've done the this is the second person who's done the um, uh, decoration on the night lights there we go oh Oh yes, here we go. Made by Anita Menger. There's a warning there by looks of things, so I'll check that out. Probably something about don't let candles burn on their own or something. Which is always a sensible thing to say. If you're selling things or giving away things like that. These are lovely. Another little idea for Christmas decorations. I've just put some um, temporary adhesive on the back there so I didn't lose them. And it, they were made by Sabrina Schuller from Germany. So thank you for that. This is lovely. This was actually shown how to make on while we were at on stage. Whether there was a connection with whoever made this and the person who did it on stage or not, I don't know. couple of sweets inside and the girl's name is Heike Konash and oh, she's Germany again thank you for swapping oh, she's done hers in different languages look at that well that's German and that's English not sure about that but really good and this is quite easy to make using the um, stitch stars. Well, easy once you've worked out what the measurements is that you need, and you've worked out how to get the bit, the um, lid, fractionally bigger than the bottom, without it being so big that it just falls off. And that's been down done down to a T brilliantly. This one is. Another one I don't think I've opened up yet. And inside, oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Oh, hubby wins that one, without a doubt. in Vizen Mel yeah that's got gluten in it oh well that's one for hubby anyway he can have that one such a shame so I'll pop that on there and I'll do that one up later right just three left to go now first of all this one just add little cups here and inside, put a lid in. In fact, did we get lids with ours? I'm not sure we did. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love chocolate, really love chocolate, and that is so tempting. Oh, handmade by Sandra Schottler. Sandra Schrotler. Oh, I'll let you read it. Okay, right, um, and this one, look at this. Oh, good, no, there's another one there. Look, isn't that gorgeous? Decorated the bag as well. Now, I'm going to open this. I didn't want to do it beforehand because it looked so good. I wanted you to see that as well. But I'm hoping the lady's name is on here. I should put that on with blue dots, that's all right, it's coming on nicely. And the name is Heike Mansk, that's M A N S K E, that's Germany. But isn't that absolutely superb?
I have no idea how many she did, but I mean, that is just so generous. Really beautiful, love that. So thank you very much for that. And this one, this is from my friend Rebecca. She goes by the name of Catnip Crafting, I believe it is. I'll check, double check in a minute. Um, but she made 150 of these, look. Can you imagine? I mean, I know how this is done, but, so I, I appreciate the amount of work that's gone into that. And then on here, I'm going to take this off now that you've seen it. There we go. Rebecca is very much into cats. Isn't that sweet? Just so, so cute. That can go on its own. I'll know that that's Rebecca. I'll never forget that. And let me just double check her. It, her name's Rebecca Wilmore. Oh, that's right. She goes by Catnip Crafting. No idea how she manages to do 150. I thought I was good for doing 100. 101, actually. And last of all, this box here. And I love what's inside it which is why I'm saving it to last. I'm taking the belly band off and I'm opening it up. And look, it's got a skip cashew brownie in there. If I turn it over, it says it's gluten free. Look at that, that's for me. So huge thank you to Cindy Pitstra from Netherlands. So many thanks for your box. It is absolutely gorgeous and it may well be uh, repurposed. If I use that paper to cover that bit up and use it for somebody's Christmas present. And these are lemons, this is a lemon tea stick. So many thanks for that. I can't believe that that, when I saw it, that that was uh, gluten free. I couldn't believe it. So, really, you have to forgive me, keep going on about gluten and uh, celiac and all that, but I was diagnosed in about May this year, so I'm still learning about all of this. Anyway, that is it. That's my final one. Many thanks for joining me today. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this. Sorry it's gone on for so long, but, hey, I don't want to just rush through it so that you can't see what I had. Um, many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.